I'm Tim Nichols with Wooden Whimsies and I have had over the last few months a lot of customers uh, send me emails and call us and want to know how we drill a piece of curved antler and get a hole through it straight so that we can uh, put it together and turn it and make a pen out of it. Well it's not real difficult but there's some things that you have to consider and think about. Um, the ideal piece of antler is something that is, uh, you know, shaped like that. Well, guess what? This is uh, nature, and it's just not going to happen. You're, you'll be lucky if you ever find a piece of antler that, that, that looks like that right off from the bat. Uh, most of it looks like that. So how do we get a straight hole through that and uh, make it to where we can actually put it together and use it? Um, there's a piece of a typical piece of antler right here. One thing you need to consider when you do this is the length. You need to make sure that it is long enough. I have a, a slimline tube here with a tip pressed in the end of it there. Just make sure that, that uh, the piece that you're going to be using is long enough. As you can see, this one this one definitely is long enough. Uh, a couple other things. You see the way this was cut off. Uh, we get these from uh, uh, farms that raise deer for uh, their antlers and their meat. And uh, they cut these things off for us and they just whatever happened to have to go through the saw, that's what we get. But we want to make this straight so this, uh, this end of this antler here that looks like that we want to do is we're going to cut this off straight here. Okay. Uh, you want to do all these little cuts while you have it in a long, longer piece that's easier to handle. So you want this cut off straight here, and the best you can, you kind of eyeball it. Um, in the newsletter uh, for this month, I had put a picture of a jig in there that one of our customers had made. It seems like it works pretty good, but uh, uh, you know. It depends on how much of this you're going to do to whether whether it warrants going and buying all the equipment to make it. But uh, but anyway, you want to make your your ends 90 as close to 90 degrees to each other as you possibly can. Uh, now, if you'll notice in this piece of antler here we have here uh, drawn on the paper here, uh, this is going away to the trash. This is going away to the trash. I mean. This is not all trash. There's a piece of this here. If you want to use a, uh, put a, a, a little piece of bling on the end of your pen, a uh, piece of wood, you can, you can still use a little piece of that there for, for that. But, just to exaggerate this to show you what, what I'm going to do, for paper over here, let's, let's put a piece of antler that has got some real curve to it here. Okay? Now, how do I get a straight hole through that? Well, a couple things that I need to do. First, I, I've cut it off like I did my cutoff here. Let me erase some of that up there. All right, I've got my cutoff here. This is what I've got. And how do I get a hole from here to here without the, the bit coming out through the side here? Well, what I need to do is make myself a... I have to reshape this piece of antler to make it not perfectly straight but straighter than it was. So what I'm going to do on my sander take this piece of antler that I've got here that's, that's really curved and on the ends of it I'm going to sand this part off I'm going to sand this part off and then the high part on the outside of the blank I'm going to sand that off. So you see what I wind up with is a piece that's, that's fairly uh, fairly straight where I can load it into my vise and, and drill it in and not have to worry about the, the bit coming out through the inside curve. So, um, what you need to do is make sure that if you, you do this sanding that you have enough space up here and that's what I, I usually use a use a, a little slim line of bushing or a bushing for uh, whatever pen kit you're going to be turning uh, take your bushing and set it on the end there where you cut this off and, and if you ground it and make sure that you have enough material there so that your uh, the metal parts of your pen are not going to stick out beyond the 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 edge of the the antler. I mean you can cut these things pretty pretty close 
and still have enough there to do it with. Uh, my son Curtis drills this for me and he brought me some the other day and said this is just not going to work. These are just not, uh, they're, they're just too thin. And I said well let me see. So I put uh, this little tube deal I got here, not this particular one, but I, I took a tube, uh, stuck a uh, uh, tip in the end of it and I ran it down inside the antler and I showed it to him. I said you've got plenty of room around there. It's all sticking out pad. Well there's just not enough there to do it with. There's plenty, believe me. Oh. Just, just to, to get you going here, this is the, the, the paperwork part of it. Just, we just want to make it as square as we possibly can. And uh, then we're going to go out to the, uh, uh, to the tools. I'm going to actually do this stuff for you and show you how I do it. And then uh, we'll get a blank prepped up and make it ready to turn. Alright, we'll see you out in the shop. Alright, in order to... Uh, cut the ends off of this safely there's a couple things I'm going to need uh, one of them is I'm going to need a piece of scrap wood uh, just any uh, anything will do as long as it'll cover this this area here one thing you do not want to ever do is grab a hold of your piece of antler and then try to cut this on this uh, plastic insert here this will bounce you'll come back down you'll break that and uh, you you know it, it just makes a big mess and it's it's not a lot of fun. So what I do, I'm going to turn the saw on here, but I'm just going to run this into the into the blade halfway or so and, and make myself an, a nice sturdy platform to do my cutting on. If I were the daredevil type, I would uh, hold this with my fingers and, and run that through the saw, but uh, I'm not. So I use a pair of channel locks to hold my antler with. Just like that. Can you see that? That uh, makes sense. See? All right. Now what I want to do is I'm going to cut these ends off and make them nice and square. So give myself as much antler as I can here. Start at the the inside of that bottom edge right there. There's one. Now I need to make sure that I have enough length here. So what I'm going to do is lay my tube on there, just kind of eyeball this where I want to cut that. I want to cut it off right about, I want to come past the uh, the length of the tube. I'm gonna give myself a little extra here and cut it off, you know, a quarter of an inch past the edge of the tube. Grab hold of this with my pliers again. My cut is going to be made right about there. I'm gonna look at my uh, my edge on on this side and keep that 90 degrees to the to the blade. Do my measurement there again. There we go. I'm going to cut it off right about there. Now, the saw will stop there for a second. As you can see, we have a piece of antler that's almost ready to go. You can uh, put that on there. I've still got a little, a little extra length on there. Now, the problem is, if I try to drill this, what I'm probably going to do, if I start in the center up here, I will probably end up coming out the side of the, of the bottom of the blank here. So what I need to do, we're going to go over to the sander, and we're going to send, sand off the high spots here, here, and on the back of the blank, we're going to sand this high spot off in the center here. All right, let's go out to the other shop, and we'll show you how we do that. All right, we're at the sander. We've got everything set up to go. And what we need to do, like I said, there's uh, the high spot on this piece of antler here and here and across the back here. We're going to uh, sand those down a little bit and see if we can't get this blank to be a little bit more, a uh, little straighter. So I'll just hold my little piece of antler in my pliers here. Adjust it to right to where I need it to be so I can get a hold of this little, I'm going to take this little side off right here. 
Turn this, this on to get a little loud here. Take that off. Flip it over, grab hold of it the same place. I'm going to flat there. And I'm going to take this edge here off a little bit. There we go. Now I've got the high, spot, high side on the back. Roll it over here. Now it doesn't look real pretty at this point, but uh, that's how we're going to prep this thing to drill. You see the top, we've got a flat spot on one side, the bottom part uh, where I took the high spot off here, I've kind of got into the bottom of it here, and then there's this here. This is what you should have on one side, where the high spots were, were ground off, and then the opposite side, where the, the, the con, concave, convex, whatever that is, uh, the high side, we took the center of that out. All right. Now we put this into our, our our vise. It should set almost straight up, up and down vertically, and we have significantly reduced the risk of our drill bit coming out the side of the blank. All right, we're going to go to the drill press and uh, finish this up. All right, we're set up here at the drill press. Just fixing to drill this piece of antler, but a couple things I want to talk about before I do that. Uh, this drill uh, uh, pen vise if you want to call it as far as for drilling antler I found that this particular style is the the best you could ever hope for for, for drilling antler um, as it comes from the factory at this point right here if I can uh, zoom in on that just a little bit here uh, there we go you'll notice on this one here I have two nuts on there when you when you buy one of these if you get this when it comes to the factory it has one and what the purpose of that is to lock it against this wall here so it doesn't move on you well that's a really an unnecessary step you really don't need that but what I've done is I put I took this thing apart and I put another nut on here you can get them at Lowe's or Home Depot I mean they're they're cost six cents you know they're almost cost nothing and, and I double nut this thing and, and, and tighten the two nuts together. Now that gives me something to grab a hold of and turn. As you'll see as I turn this, the, uh, the jaws open and close. So it makes it very, very adjustable. Let's see, yeah, back off on that a little bit. Okay. Uh, now, what I'm going to do, when I set this thing up, I set it up to where when I pull my quill down on my drill press, the, uh, the bit bottoms out almost to where it touches the, the vise, but not quite. So if I come all the way down with my, my drill press, I know that I'm at the, the bottom of my limit there. Uh, so just set it up to where that uh, you're, you're not quite touching your, your, the base of your vise. All right, so what I'm going to do is I put this into the drill press. Now, uh, it's easier to center a hole... If you start in the big end, but thing is, when it comes out the bottom end, likely uh, you're going to come out through the side of it. So when you drill antler, you want to start drilling from the small end. All right, what I do is open this up, set my antler in there, just like so. I did not put the antler all the way to the bottom. I left it up off of the bottom, so when my hole goes through the bottom, you don't really have to worry about antler breaking apart on you as the drill bit comes through the bottom it's pretty um, flexible and pliable stuff it's it's actually uh it's it's a hair is what it is a rather large hair but that's what it is it's, it's hard for me to manipulate from the angle i'm working at here and trying to stand over the camera but make sure you can get underneath it all right and then when I start this thing off, I'm going to start as close, not at the center of the bit, but I'm going to start to where, or the center of the piece, I'm going to start to where I'm, I know that I have uh, adequate 
material on all sides of the hole to uh, to put it all together in the end. Let me tighten that up a little bit. It's a little loose. There we go. What you don't want to do is when you're drilling this, have it pushing down through there and you're, you're chasing the, the antler down through there. I use, and this is about the only thing that I use brad point built drill bits for, is for drilling the antler. I use a brad point for this. For some reason it works better for me. I do not use brad points when I'm drilling anything else. I use regular jobber style bits. Alright, here we go. It'll start slow. You're not going to just jam it in there because what you'll do is you'll get your bit walking to one side or the other. So let the bit do its what it's designed to do. Let it trace itself through. And once you get it started, then you can kind of speed it up a little bit. Notice I'm pulling the drill bit out a lot and cleaning out the, uh, the shavings. They will stick to the bit. So I just kind of take the uh, edge of the, my uh, uh, chuck key and kind of run it on there to knock off the, the excess stuff that builds up on there. It does happen from time to time when I'm drilling these and then what I end up doing is just pushing the, uh, the antler down into the bottom of the, of the vise and I don't get my hole all the way through. But uh, you just have to be patient and work with it. See, there it goes, just pushing in. That's probably because we got so much crap built up on the, the bit there. All right, we've gone to the bottom of it. Now, let's see what we've got here. Let's see, open here. And as you'll see, we came through, but we didn't come through in the center of the bottom. But that's okay. What we're going to do now is just make sure we put this, uh, this tube down in there that we have enough material sticking out beyond our, uh, our parts that we need. Okay? And we do. So what we can do is just go take this. Now I would take this in and, uh, and glue my tube in with some medium CA and then trim it trim the ends of the tube just the way you would any other uh, uh, pen blank and you take this to the lathe and and turn it uh, I'm not going to say this is simple but it's uh, it's not all that difficult you just follow the steps let's see let's check this other side here make sure we got enough yep we got enough we're uh, probably uh, what's that over a fingernail uh, of clearance there so we're good to go but that's how I drill antler